Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about Indiana Jones and the Dow of Destiny. Now, guys, you know that we have no faith whatsoever for this movie at the box office. We believe that this movie is actually going to lose money. The budget, something like 300 million, they're probably all in for 600 million, guys. One of the most expensive movies ever made. Indiana Jones with an 80 year old Harrison Ford under Lucasfilm with Kathleen Kennedy. You knew that this thing was going to fail. But even I am pretty shocked by the new predictions we actually have for this movie. Guys, it is bad. I mean, it is just all time bad. Look at this. This is on bounding in the comments here. Indiana Jones and the Dollar Destiny opening weekend box office predictions plummet over 25 percent. Guys, this is just stunning right here how bad it is. Now, it was predicted to open somewhere around 81 to 111 million. But guys, we got new updates here. Look at this. Indiana Jones 5 early tracking predicts 60 million dollar box office opening well below Crystal Skull. And Crystal Skull was a box office hit. That movie actually made money. I mean, Crystal Skull made something like, I believe, like 780 million. If you actually adjust, adjust for inflation, that would actually be like 1.1 billion today. I mean, guys, this is a disaster. Well, let's read some of this, guys. The first round of box office projections for Disney, Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm's uh, Indiana Jones and Dollar Destiny have arrived. And they are predicting a significant drop. From the film's 2008 predecessor, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, with an opening weekend of around $60 million. So a movie that they're probably all in at least $600 million is only going to open at around $60 million. What a disaster. Now look at this. By comparison, Crystal Skull, which opened on the Thursday before Memorial Day 15 years ago, Earned a Friday to Saturday opening of one hundred million dollars going on to gross three hundred and seventeen million dollars domestic and seven hundred and ninety million worldwide. Box office analysts who spoke to the rap say the film's early tracking in the U.S. is more reminiscent of James Bond film of the James Bond film No Time to Die, which opened to fifty five million in October twenty twenty one. And finish with 160 million domestic and 774 million globally. Wow. If that happens, guys, this movie is going to lose probably a hundred million dollars. This movie probably needs to make 900 million at least to break even. Kind of hard to actually tell. But I mean, guys, it is that bad. That bad, guys. I mean, Indiana Jones is dead. This whole thing is dead, man. This movie should have never been made. And I had a feeling when we actually found out that it was getting made, because I believe this thing has actually been in development since like uh, 2014, 2015, forever. They finally get it made. And guess what? They're just going to waste money. Kathleen Kennedy must go, guys. Kathleen Kennedy must go. But will she go? I don't know, man. Disney, Star Wars. Lucasfilm, they are just running everything into the ground. They made one good movie, if you ask me, and that's Rogue One. Now, if you take into account that people liked, um, liked, um, what is it, The Force Falls Asleep, Force Awakens? Okay, so two movies. That's it. Everything else has been a disaster. The stuff that they're putting out there on Disney Plus. Yeah, Mandalorian, pretty good. Season one, season two. But Mandalorian season three, a complete flop. Willow, a disaster. So bad, guys, that they actually removed that from Disney Plus. And now you got Indiana Jones with Harrison Ford. And this movie's going to bomb. And it's going to bomb very, very hard, guys. I think this movie is probably going to make worldwide. My guess is 700 million when it probably needs to make 200 million more at least. Yeah. The stuff that's going on over there at Lucasfilm should get Kathleen Kennedy fired, but it's not going to happen. 
maybe just maybe she'll stick around long enough to destroy something else that uh, George Lucas actually created. But what what more is there left to do? She's destroying Indiana Jones. Star Wars is already destroyed. I mean, I guess she'll find something. She'll find something else and mess it up. Trust me. This woman should go. But guess what? I already said, man, I'm not going to go see this movie. Rhodes, the biggest Harrison Ford fan out there, said, no, I'm not going to go see it. And apparently a whole bunch of other people are going to say, no, I'm not going to see it. That is how you actually get from roughly a $90 million prediction to now a $60 million prediction. Yeah, this is awful. This is very, very bad, guys. I mean, Indiana Jones is dead. Star Wars is dead. There is no hope. George Lucas was everything to this. And now he's not around. Well, he's around, but they don't want to listen to him. They don't want to use him. And the results have been a disaster. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.